Aprons provide the interface between airside and landside facilities on airports. It is the place where airplanes get parked and people can leave and enter the cabin. There are several different layouts for airplane parking that you can find on airports, with the most simple one in a similar way as you park your car, on a big field all airplanes just side by side. Although this system is the cheapest one to build since it doesn't need any facilities, it's definitely not the most efficient one for larger airports. People walking long distances on an apron is not optimal, so buses will be needed for transport and therefore, this system is primarily used on smaller airports. At larger ones, airplanes park closer to the main building so travelers can leave and enter the airplane using these square people pipes. Parking linearly is still a possibility in this case, but it will result in long long distances to walk especially for larger airports. This can be slightly reduced by making a variation on this linear model, or one should switch to a complete different concept. Using the pier concept like they do at LAX and Amsterdam airport, many parking spots can be created while reducing the average walking distance. Even piers on piers are possible. Satellite terminals can be created with underground passageways or skybridges to the main building. Charles de Gaulle airport in Paris is one of the many airports using this system. A similar concept named Concours, which can be seen in Atlanta, does also use several buildings, but in a more linear way. Both the Concours terminals and the satellite terminals are very practical for airport expansion, since these can be constructed when there is no space left at the main building. Of course, airports are not bounded to using only one system. Hybrid concepts can be found all over the world. For example, here is a map of O'Hare International Airport, where we can see Concours terminals marked in red on the right hand side. Piers in green and purple, and in blue a terminal which is linear-ish.